What's up you guys, it's Adrian, and in today's video, I am going to change the course of your entire life. Okay, maybe not change the course of your entire life, but I'm here to give you guys 10 Instagram hacks that you probably never knew existed that will help you guys gain audience engagement, so likes and followers, but also just help you use Instagram to its fullest potential and create the most awesome feed on earth. I'm secretly a nerd at heart and I love researching things like marketing and social media. So these are all things that I just found from like surfing the web, reading different articles, and I thought I'd share them with you because a lot of people do care a lot about social media. Now, I just wanna give a disclaimer. Obviously, Instagram is not the whole world. Social media is not the world. It doesn't matter how many likes or followers you have. Don't think that it matters. It doesn't. Some of you out there really seem to care about it and I think that you will appreciate these hacks that I'm about to give you. Without further ado, let's get into the hacks. Okay, so the first hack I'm gonna tell you is how to insert a page break in your Instagram caption. A lot of YouTubers do this, like Alicia Marie does this a lot, and I've always wondered how people do it because when you try to do it on Instagram, it doesn't seem to work. Now, a lot of people think you need to type out your caption in another app like Notes and then copy it and paste it on Instagram, but that is false. I repeat, there is a way easier way to do it. So here's how you do it. Notice when you go to make a caption, it doesn't give you the option of pushing return in order to enter down a couple lines. In order to get the option of clicking return, you simply have to push the one, two, three button on your phone and then voila, there is the return button. So all you have to do once you find the return button is simply type out the beginning of your caption, push return and type out the rest and then hit share and you will see that nice page break in your caption. Now there is one catch. Unfortunately, you can't use emojis at the beginning of your sentences or at the end of your sentences. You have to use them in the middle of your paragraph or else that page break will disappear, but all you have to make sure to do is stick emojis in the middle of your sentences and the page break will work. Now, this next hack is for increasing audience engagement. According to Sprout Social, mentioning an Instagram handle in the caption of your photo actually increases engagement by 56%. That's like a lot of engagement increasing. So say you wanna post a picture of you and a friend. Instead of just tagging them in the photo, you also wanna figure out a way to mention their handle in the caption. OMG, at Maddie McHugh is literal goals. Am I right? Hashtag goals. Hashtag love you. It's as easy as that. Okay, the next hack is to solve every case of double tap paranoia. You will know what I'm talking about if you've ever been stalking someone so hard on Instagram that you get back to like 150 weeks, maybe more, and you accidentally double tap and like their photo as you're scrolling. Here's a foolproof way to avoid double tap paranoia and you will never have to worry about it it'll save your life. All you gotta do is open Instagram to the page you wanna stalk, then turn on airplane mode once it's loaded, and then scroll through and you will not be able to double tap because you're not connected to the internet. There you go. So apparently photos that are predominantly blue receive 24% more engagement than other photos. Hmm. These could be photos incorporating water or the sky or kind of anything that's like bluish. Another thing you can do if you don't live somewhere where there is water or a lot of blue things is you can actually highlight the shadows with a blue tint. I like to do this a lot on my photos. I use ViscoCam for this and all you really do is open ViscoCam, load the photo, scroll all the way over to the highlight section, click on the blue one. And I like to lower it to about six or seven so it's not too overwhelming, but it kind of gives that blue tint to my photos. And apparently this is really attractive to people, maybe because so many people's favorite color is blue. My favorite color might be blue. Another way to increase engagement on your photos is to geotag them. I'm sure you do this already, but if you didn't know, this increases engagement by 79%. That is a huge percentage, but you do want to be really careful about this. Instagram is really creepy and it pretty much marks photos down to the very street that they were taken. So you really want to be safe and precautious when you are geotagging photos, which leads me to my next hack. My next hack is how to remove your location from Instagram photos. Now, even if you don't geotag photos on Instagram, they actually still store all of the data of your location within Instagram and people can find it. To remove your location, simply go to your Instagram profile and click on the pin. Zoom into the photos that you wanna remove all location information from. I suggest doing this to all of your old photos or anywhere near your home. Then all you do is click edit in the upper right corner and click on the photos you want to remove and push done. When geotagging, I recommend using very broad locations such as Los Angeles, California, just because it doesn't allow people to really track you and yeah, you don't wanna get stalked. All right, my next hack is for people who are completely Instagram feed challenged like myself. I. I just can't. So one thing you can do that'll help a lot is go onto Pinterest and search Instagram theme. So basically you can scroll through these options and find one that kind of matches the aesthetic you like and the kind of pictures that you post. And then you basically just do that for all of the pictures and there you have a feed. See, I can teach you, but I can't do it myself. 
it's really confusing. So if you are someone who cares a lot about your feed, something you can do is create a pre-Instagram page. Basically, this is a page that no one can follow, it's private, but it's where you upload your photos before they go on your main account. So basically, you can upload it, see if it matches with your theme, see if it looks good, and then you can either delete or re-upload new ones. Now, this one is obviously a lot more time and effort, but some people want to go through that effort in order to make sure their feed is good. So my next hack is for saving edited photos from Instagram, but not actually posting them. Simply go onto Instagram, load the photo that you want to edit, edit it to your liking, then turn on airplane mode and push share. Obviously the share is going to fail because you're on airplane mode. But if you have on the setting that says save original photos, which you go to your settings, make sure save original photos is highlighted, then even when you push share and it fails, you will still get a copy of your edited photo. And there you have it. Okay, my last and final Instagram hack is to reorder the filters on Instagram to your liking. So all you do is load your picture and once you get to the part where you're choosing a filter, scroll all the way to the right to where it says manage. Once you click manage, you are able to check off all the ones you wanna hide, you're able to rearrange them, really do whatever you want. That way it's completely customizable and I bet you didn't know you could do that. Okay, so those are all my Instagram hacks. If you guys enjoyed it and you want me to make more videos like this, give it a thumbs up. I actually have a lot more hacks but I didn't wanna drag this video on forever. I hope you guys learned something new and if you apply it, let me know in the comments below. Again, I just wanna reiterate that social media and followings is not the whole world. It doesn't really matter at all actually. So don't get too caught up in it. Enjoy your life in the real world and not just the social media world. Don't forget that I also have a vlog channel that you can check out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.